I sold my 36-inch Skag Liberty Z with only 10 hours on it and purchased another Toro Time Master with the 223cc engine. Before I bought the Skag, I had the Time Master with the 190cc engine. The Skag was too rough on my property and I definitely didn't operate a zero turn correctly. I was ripping up my lawn and creating a lot of ruts. The worst part, I could not bag the clippings with the Skag. The metal grass catcher was way too big and heavy. I couldn't find the fabric bag anywhere for the Skag. The clippings were making a mess of my lawn and pool. I lost about $500 on the Liberty Z, which isn't great, but it could have been worse. There's nothing to assemble with the Time Master, it's really an unboxing, and that's it. It's 1, 2, 3. Remove the bag, the manual, side discharge chute, and cut the front of the box open. Attach the bag to the frame by using the clips. These bags are great and are some of the largest capacity when it comes to residential mowers. I generally have to empty the bag once every 5,000 square feet assuming I'm mowing only once a week. The mower is powerful enough to actually fill up the bag but the trick is to make sure your blades are sharp. I swap blades with a sharpened set once a month and have no issues filling the bag to capacity at the end of the blade's monthly life cycle. This is the washout port hose adapter for the deck. Instruction manual and warranty registration card. Make sure you register your mower, it only takes a minute. Included side discharge shoe. Included SAE30 oil. I use the full 18 ounces. It's really hard to read the oil dipstick on this machine. Time to roll the mower out of the box. I usually save boxes for resale purposes, but not in this case. A buyer will not want this box. Tighten up the wing nuts on both sides of the handles, remove any remaining bubble wrap, and fully open the handles by using the blue handle release latch. Time to add some fuel. Do not remove the blue sponge inside the fuel tank. The sponge is to prevent the fuel from sloshing around. New feature in the 223cc model. Also, don't be an idiot and overfill your fuel tank. I was used to filling up the skag with a few gallon tank, I wasn't thinking clearly. I lucked out and did not get fuel all over my pavers. Nowhere in the full manual or quick start guide does it mention how much oil to use. They include 18 ounces. After a few fills and checking the dipstick, which is nearly impossible to read, I decided to just use the full 18 ounces. I remember reading that it takes 16 ounces somewhere, but couldn't find that article anywhere, so I figured an extra 2 ounces never hurt anybody. I also ran the engine for a bit to warm it up and check the dipstick again, but same result, nearly impossible to read. Remove the mulch plug, unless you plan to mulch, instead of bag. I know there's a lot of debate about leaving the clippings for nutrients, but I always bag. Attach the bag to the mower if you plan to bag. Adjust the cutting height by moving the cutting height levers. Position A is 4 and 1 quarter inches. Every position following position A will lower the deck in half inch increments. You can go as low as 1 and 1 quarter inches with position G. The Time Master will almost always start with a single pull. My original 190cc Time Master started on a single pull for the 3 years I owned it. This mower is brand new and required 2 pulls to get it running for the first time. I only mention this because I know there's some Time Master haters out there.
C. First pull. I know some consider $1,400 expensive for a residential push mower, but, that's subjective. You're not going to find the 30-inch width and bagging capacity the Time Master has, unless you go with a riding mower, or zero turn. Use a fuel stabilizer, sharpen your blades monthly, perform your seasonal oil change, keep the deck clean, and you'll love the Time Master. Some owners add a ceramic coating to deck, which prevents clippings from building up. On my original Time Master, I had the Toro striping kit, which was excellent. I didn't sell the Checkmate striping kit for the Skag with the mower, the buyer didn't want it, so I am going to try and convert that to work with this 30-inch Time Master. The Checkmate is about 3 inches too wide and Big League Lawns claims it's too heavy, but I don't buy that. Since making this video, I converted the striping kit for the 36-inch Liberty Z to work with this 30-inch Time Master, and have no issues. I didn't even remove the extra roller from the Checkmate, so technically it's 3 inches too wide. In other words, the rollers stick out past the rear wheels by about an inch and a half on each side. The roller should technically end in the middle of each rear wheel. It has not affected the stripes in any way, and the 223cc engine with the personal pace has no issue moving the mower, with the checkmate, plus a fully loaded bag, all while still cutting to perfection. I have a video of the checkmate conversion up on TikTok, which I'll link in this video description. Don't mind my lawn right now, I've been slacking, and didn't want to cut using the skag, because I didn't want to put hours on it before I sold it. The Time Master arrived late, so I was only cutting once every 10 days, if that. I stressed my lawn and currently recovering from brown patch. A little uneven but a beautiful cut from the Time Master, as expected. I didn't even sharpen the factory blades, which have a coat of paint over them. Any questions about the Time Master, let me know, I'll be happy to help.